Today, I share with you how to prepare French fry that is going to be crispy as if you are there in KLC. So, sweetie, let me show you how to get this done. Everyone around you that eat this with you is going to appreciate you. It was everything delicious and this process is so easy to follow. So, begin, you are going to be needing potato. Over here, we have our potato already washed. Next thing to do is to peel the skin of the potato. I take one of it, then take my skipper to peel the skin. So if you don't have the skipper, all you can use is your knife. But if you have the skipper, it's going to enable you to get that done very, very easily like this. So I'm going to peel everything until everything is ready to use like this. So sweetie, you have to share this recipe. Like you need to share this recipe. It's going to help you to easily make french fry anytime any day in just so so easy to get done at this point i'm done peeling everything all i do is to transfer that back inside this bowl then add in clean water and then get the potato rinsed so i'm just going to rinse the potato until everything come up perfect like this so next is for me to do is to get the potato slice so sweetie this is what i have after slicing the potato for you to make your french fry you have to first of all slice your potato this way for you to get that french fry shape so this is what i have after slicing this and the same time i have that fresh fry shape so sweetie let me show you how to get this done like how you can slice for you to get the shape so first you are going to be needing knife like this and then once you have the knife next is to take the potato Cut the two sides of the potato first. You are going to cut the other side again like this. Just cut it and then once you achieve that, keep it aside. Then the remaining one, you are going to divide that into three equal sides like this. So this one is one side and then divide the remaining one. Then it's going to give you three sides like this. So once you achieve this three, this is what it looks like. Now you are going to take one of it so what you do now is to first of all cut the a little bit of it out like that from the head and the tail the same time the side of it you cut a little bit out and the same time the other side so once you achieve this shape then you are going to use your knife to just cut it a little bite like this so that is for you to enable you and easily have this french fry shape so look at that shape it was so beautiful I hope you catch up how I get this slice. It was so easy to follow. Just the same way, you are going to slice everything and then you are going to get this gorgeous shape. So that is how I get everything sliced. And at this point, we are done slicing all the potato and then here we have it. So just share this video and follow my hand. We are going to get yours done the same way my get done. At this point, all the potato has been sliced and it's sliced so perfect as you can see. Next is to transfer that back to this hot water. To begin, we are going to be needing hot water and then add that a little bit of salt. Then once you add the salt, then you are going to transfer the potato inside the hot water. So the moment you add in the potato inside the hot water, all you do is just to be stirring. And this is not going to take you no less than one minute to get this done. So the same one minute you add that inside the hot water, you are going to stir. And under that one minute, you are just going to bring it out from the hot water like this. So at this point, you are going to bring everything out from the hot water. So I get my coat twice like this. So this is the second one. I just coat it the same way I coat the first one. Just add that inside the hot water. All you do next is to be stirring like the same one minute and then bring it out from the hot water. So once you achieve everything, this is what it look like. All I do now is to transfer that back inside this plate. Next for me to do is to add in is corn flour. Over here, we have the corn flour. I'm just going to add everything on top of it and then use my hand to mix until the corn flour and the potato get combined. So this is what it looks like after mixing everything together. So you are going to be being careful of doing this so that you are not going to break your potato into pieces. So mine doesn't break. It comes out the same way I started it. Next is to add the oil inside a pan like this. So once the oil out, you are going to be adding the potato inside the oil like this. So now you are going to allow that to fry. So once it's frying, you are going to be stirring. So this is going to be taking about 20 minutes for you to fry the fresh batch. It was so perfect, guys. Like, it was so perfect. If you are making fresh fry before, it's coming black after everything. It's not going to happen again this time once you follow this process. It's going to dry the same way it's going to look so so clean as if you bought it direct from KFC. 
So that is why you have to follow this process by sharing this recipe if you haven't hit the share button. So this is how you are going to fry that until it comes out so so dry and then look crispy like this. At this point, this first batch fries so nice and then this is what it looked like. It was so perfect. Like I just loved every bit of this. It was so so delicious. So at this point, I'm done frying everything. This is how I get the rest fry. I fry that two times and then we are done at this point. Look at that now. Oh my goodness like it was so crispy it dried so nice the color everything was so so much water and look at that this is just the best way to make your french fry at home all you do is to share try this for your family especially the kids they like eating anything fresh fry so if you are not giving them before now this is the right time you have to be adding this on their food day you can just enjoy this with any ketchup around you tomato sauce you are good to go. I love you. Don't forget to download this with any cold drink. In my next one, bye.